What's up guys, this is DJ1234. No, I've been gone for a while, but I'm here to talk about uh, Dragons Collide, the new structure deck. Some people have been saying it sucks, some people have been saying it's great. I'm here to tell you that it's good. It's not bad, it's not great, it's just good. I'm going to talk about a couple of the cards now. Um, mainly the cover cards. Um, let's see. Let's talk about Light Pulsar Dragon. I see six stars, dragon type. Uh, Light Dragon. 2500 attack, 1500 defense. Um, let's see here. You can special summon this card from your hand by banishing one light, one dark monster from your graveyard. You can special summon this card from your graveyard by sending one light and one dark monster from your hand to the graveyard. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one level 5 or higher dra dark dragon type monster in your graveyard and special summon that target. Uh, not broken, but good. Um, let's see here. You can run in a pure dragon deck. Um, and really use red eyes metal uh red eyes metal special summon them or whatever um you can future fusion future fusion a couple of dragons into the graveyard um make sure you throw light pulsar dragon too um while you have a light and dark monster in your hand and then you can special them right out the graveyard uh let's see but the card that really impresses me is dark flare dragon and I'm going to tell you why. He's the other uh, cover card too. Um, five stars, 2400 attack, 1200 defense, dark type, dark attribute, dragon type. Um, his effect is, you can special summon this card from your hand by banishing one light and one dark monster from your graveyard. Once per turn, you can send one dragon type monster, each from your hand and deck to the graveyard to target one card from either player's graveyard and banish that target. Let's see here. Now that's the one that really impresses me. He's actually broken. Um, you can throw cards into the graveyard that's, uh, that fact happens out of the graveyard, such as a uh, White Stone Legend or Light Pulsar Dragon. Um, Red Eyes Wavering. Um, and also, with Metal Dragon on the field, he's broken. Red Eyes Metal Dragon, you can pretty much summon any dragon out your deck with those two on the field. Um, that's pretty damn broken to me. Um, and let's not forget about the deck itself. You get the Blue Eyes crap, you get the Red Eyes crap, you get some Light Swarm crap. It's a good, solid deck. And... I feel like people say it's bad because you're not being spoon fed a championship deck anymore, a top tier deck anymore. Let's think about it. Let's think about it for a sec. You got uh, Machinist, which was a gadget deck, um, and uh, which is uh, top tier. You got Lost Sanctuary, which was a fairy deck. You do a little editing, you got a top tier deck. Dark World, you buy three of them. Do a little editing for the band list. You got yourself a top tier deck. And people are so used now to being spoon fed. A great deck. As soon as they get something that you kind of got to use your brain for. And think about. It's a bad deck. But um. I don't know. I don't want to go off on a rant. I'm the DJ1234. And I'm out.